As an observer with a background in international relations, I find Dmitry Medvedev's perspective on the Switzerland hosted Ukraine peace summit to be both intriguing and insightful. His use of metaphors from George Orwell's Animal Farm adds depth to his criticism of the event and the Western dominated event in Switzerland is pure surrealism. Dmitry Medvedev has said the peace summit held in Switzerland for Ukraine, which is being chaired by the Swiss, has unexpectedly become a disorganized and confusing gathering for its attendees, according to former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev at the Bergenstock Hotel by Lake Lucerne on June 15th through 16th. The conference will delve into three key components of Vladimir Zelensky's peace proposal. Prisoner swaps, nuclear security, and food and security. The blueprint proposes Russia's withdrawal from all territories contested by Kiev. Yet this proposition has been met with skepticism from Moscow as being disconnected from current circumstances. Uh, the event did not extend an invitation to Russia. Uh, according to President Putin, uh, this is merely an attempt by the West to fabricate a supposedly global anti-Russian alliance and divert focus from the underlying causes of the dispute. On Sunday, Medvedev, who holds the position of deputy chairman in Russia's Security Council, made an analogy between the summit and George Orwell's animal farm during a conversation on Telegram. This novel, renowned for its allegorical representation of the Stalin-era Soviet Union, explores how the principles of equality and liberty can be manipulated and ultimately betrayed under the rule of a merciless leader. I find the scene at the Swiss Peace Forum utterly surreal as described by the former Russian president. He believes that none of us attending have a clear understanding of our roles or purposes here. And then inspected of it mentioned, and if the female started by the boy's um, religious place and, and heard, of course, is a short and mile oak uh, blackout coming out, a target, and dim-witted western alpine sheep cheerfully chanting for tranquility, and a group of European guard dogs chained up to protect the livestock. Medvedev failed to identify the intended recipients of some of these comments. Uh, in his opinion, the dogs are barking and foaming at the mouth with toxic slobber to preserve order. Uh, he justified this action as necessary uh, due to the fact that sheep frequently bleat out of place and disorient uh, the, the set phrases. Uh, referring to U.S. President Joe Biden, he commented with a hint of disdain that the flock is under the guidance of an elderly, feeble leader who is allegedly experiencing advancing dementia. Furthermore, he jibed and instead of dispatching Biden, they sent a pliable deputy, alluding to Vice President Kamala Harris, who memorized a catchphrase and promptly returned home. In essence, Medvedev expressed his disappointment over the financial expenditure on alpine cattle grazing describing it as an unfortunate and costly pile of manure. Uh, based on a previous Bloomberg article, uh, Biden missed attending the summit due to a scheduling conflict with a fundraiser in California prior to the presidential election in November. Um, in response, Zelensky expressed disappointment and remarked that Biden's absence would be greeted with approval by Putin. Uh, several Western leaders have admitted been involving Moscow, um, in negotiations as essential for resolving the Ukraine crisis. Uh, 